Sandra Bullock and Tom Hanks are to star in the adaptation of Jonathan Safran Foer's 2005 book Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close and it's been directed by Stephen Doldry. The book is a follow-up to Jonathan Safran Foer's first novel Everything is Illuminated which was made into a film directed by Liev Schreiber in 2005 and it starred Elijah Wood. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close is about a nine-year-old amateur inventor, jewelry designer, astrophysicist, tambourine player and pacifist who searches New York for the lock that matches a mysterious key left by his father when he was killed in the September 11th attacks. The film has been directed by Stephen Doldry who is a very special director he directed Billy Elliot in 2000, which was hugely successful. In 2002, he directed a film called The Hours, which I really loved. I thought it was a very insightful film. And in 2008, he directed the film The Reader, which garnered a lot of Academy acclaim and critical acclaim. And I really thought it was great. I think he's a very intelligent director. And he tackles stories with a lot of depth. Eric Roth is going to adapt the screenplay extremely loud and incredibly close. And he's been the writer behind The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, The Good Shepherd, Munich, The Insider, The Horse Whisperer, Forrest Gump. So he's really an acclaimed writer. So it's really, really exciting to see him adapt this. Tom Hanks is starring in it. And I just wanted to cover a little bit about Tom Hanks. Recently, he did the voice for Woody and Toy Story 3, which is now the highest grossing animated film of all time. A film that he's got coming out next is called Larry Crown. It's due out next year. Tom Hanks is the director, writer and producer of this film and he'll play the lead Larry Crown in this film. He's written the film with Nia Vardalis and they work together on My Big Fat Greek Wedding, which she wrote and Tom Hanks produced and a film in 2009 called My Life in Ruins. Larry Crown is said to be about Tom Hanks who's a middle-aged man, he's downsides from his job, he goes back to the college where he unexpectedly forms bonds with his fellow students and a romantic relationship with a professor played by Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts and Tom Hanks worked together in Charlie Wilson's War in 2007 so it's going to be great to see them reunite. I know I'm breaking off from extremely loud and incredibly close to talk a bit about Tom Hanks but the reason I'm doing that is to kind of add to my excitement about this film having Tom Hanks on board. Tom Hanks is probably the number one most prolific actor in my life growing up. He's been an actor I saw when I was a kid, I saw Splash when I was five years old, when I was nine years old I saw Big and I've been watching Tom Hanks evolve as an actor throughout my life and I think it's akin to an older generation with actors like James Cagney. For me, it's Tom Hanks. Films like Forrest Gump, Apollo 13, The Green Mile. I thought he was excellent in Castaway, where he was pretty much the only actor in that film. Road to Perdition, brilliant film. Catch Me If You Can, The Terminal. More recently, Charlie Wilson's War. And I started doing a little bit of research about Tom Hanks and it turns out that he is ranked the highest all-time box office star with over 3.6 billion dollars take in box office gross and it's an average of 107 million dollars per film and he's been involved with 17 films that have grossed over 100 million dollars so whatever Tom Hanks does I'm very supportive of it and it's great to see him team up with Sandra Bullock who was recently an Oscar winner in The Blind Side so on my excitement meter, extremely loud and incredibly close, sits at around a seven. Very excited that Tom Hanks is involved and that Sandra Bullock is on board. So it's going to be a great film and having a director like Stephen Daldry might push it up to about a 7.5 on my excitement meter.